I'm very glad you're here with us in York and I hope you have a fantastic couple of days uh, in dialogue, debating and as I said, co-creating some of the futures uh, for the arts and cultural sector across this country and in communities and places. Um, and I hope you do that with confidence and ambition and vision. Uh, I, like many of you, are spending a lot of our times in an austerity mode and I think it's easy to lose sight of the prosperity that we are here to bring for our communities. And I do think that we have to keep our true north focused on that. What are we here to do? We're here to um, do what it takes really to create the best possible quality of life now and for the future for our communities. Much like those first city fathers back in 1212, the current financial climate has forced a rethink of our priorities and highlighted the need for a very significant change at local government level. As resources shrink, I would urge local government officers and elected members with arts, culture and sports responsibilities to ensure they're properly recognised by their health and wellbeing boards. We are both the prevention and the nurturing part <coughs> of our health agenda, so we need to ensure that the health and wellbeing aspect of culture, arts and sports are recognised as such. So, in order to negotiate the new arts landscape successfully, we need to increase our ability to forge partnerships right across communities. I know that arts development professionals have been practising this for years, but it has never been more necessary than it is now. People began to make the link between the idea of sustainable communities and quality of life, a place that offers a good quality of life is a sustainable community. And that meant our conversation shifted. Conversations about quality of life became conversations about place and vice versa. Where you live and what makes it good. And suddenly it became respectable for us as local authorities not to just talk about roads, about houses, about business parks, but to talk about communities and crucially to talk about cultural activity, to talk about the arts, to talk about heritage as actually key factors in what makes a place good to live in, a place good to work in, and a place that's good to work.